And that, to control the distance, it's impossible to get in, right? When you have that kind of distance, and you can go from, you know, your fouetté where, it really reflexes, you know, you take a fouetté, it's, it's you want to come in, right? Yeah, yeah. So round kick, you want to go there. Um, and more come in, right? But if you pull, like right away, boom, that's it. It's, you, you, can, you can catch it. You can catch it. And, uh, and because using your distance so well, you know, from there, it's, it's really all you need to do from there is just, you know, pull your foot a little bit, and that's enough. And, you know, and you can keep going and <laughs> keep punching. And, like, of the ropes, it's the best. It's like, imagine, you being here, <laughs> you keep coming and keep coming and keep coming. <laughs> it's, you have the support that allows you to just keep, you know, pushing. Yeah. It's annoying as well, right? Oh, yes. <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Do you mind if they if have them come and watch? Uh, can, you, can you guys come? Keep doing the same thing and, and watch um, how uh, Kelly is using uh, range and distance. And it's, it's only going to work. Well, let's look at it first. And then I'll, I'll, I'll make comments as uh, they go. So look at the range on the fouetté. Nice. Right, it's because the leg is extended on the, on the fouetté. Even though Tony is trying to come in, when he's coming in, he's just getting into this pumping action from you know, the knee coming back. Yeah. And then she can just you know, keep, keep coming. And, there's really not a lot you can do. I mean, so did you notice something different on the, the last combination? No, no. Well, she was going, you know, kind of high and mid, and you know, low, uh, mid and, and mid and mid and mid, and the last one, boom, she just went down just to, you know, change that pace and maybe create, you know, a little oh, yeah, more space yes. right there. And so that's another thing that, you know, I mean, you get used to, you know, and eventually that might be possible to catch or, you know, or, and get the leg, but when it comes down, you can. And so what does it do if you try to catch uh, a leg down there? What does it do? Open up, yeah, that's it. And so with those multiple things, yeah, just, you know, play around, like go from the chassis, see if you can go back to over and open up to the head and, and things like that. Um, yeah, just keep, Keep, keep trying this. So wh another thing you can do is, you know, it's you always double, like uh, changing the level most of the time, right? Or you go from here to here. Um, you know, in, in Thai boxing, how we, we catch the leg right there? It's when you drive this knee right away, as soon as you get it, you, you'll find yourself being able to just come back in a kicking position right there, okay? But it's, that's only possible because the core is there and it's strong enough and it's, it's in the position where you can just pull that leg, okay? And it's just going from here to that position where this knee being here and the foot being in a way, it's even if I extend a little bit, that's enough to, you know, just get attention and, and change, and then you know eventually change uh, the side and, and the level. So just keep playing with this because I love it. I don't want to see it more. <laughs> <laughs> Another thing that you can do is um, um, what I like you guys to do is actually is kind of give uh, each other ideas in combination. And you know if Kelly is going like we go, you know I come, I punch, and you fire a combination. One, two, three, boom! I'm gonna go. Same thing, I'm gonna go back to the same combination that he did. Okay, just to push me to first treat information, like catch what he's doing and push myself to do something that I didn't think of doing. Okay, so whatever number one is doing, number two is uh, doing right, right back, okay?